So, what is better than one image? Exactly, one massive image. Did you know that you can extend your images in size and build various different scenes around them with just a little AI magic? Hey, I'm Toby from Visual by Toby, and in this video, I will show you exactly how it works. Don't worry, you can do this at absolutely zero cost. All you need is an image that you want to enhance and an AI software that features in-paint and out-paint. This might sound complicated at first, but trust me, it really isn't. Let's dive right in. First step is to choose an image and to expand the canvas that we're working with. What software you're choosing for this step is up to you. Right now, I will use Canva as it is a free software and super easy to use. Inside Canva, click on create a design. And in the dropdown, select custom size. I want the whole canvas to be ultra HD. For that matter, I will choose a width of 3840 to 2160. Up on that, click create new design. First step, click onto your blank canvas and select the color. Select something like a light gray. After that, drag your image onto the blank canvas and adjust its position and size to your liking. When you're done, click share and download. Click download again. Now that we have a big area to work with, we need our AI software. In this video, I will use Focus AI, which is based on Stable Diffusion, a very popular and powerful text to image generation model and also completely free to use. I've made an easy to follow tutorial about setting it up. You can find it by clicking the first link in the video description below. As an alternative, you can also use Adobe Firefly, which works at zero cost in your web browser. Inside Focus, I select Input Image and In Paint or Out Paint. Now I drag my image with the big canvas into this box. You will notice that you're now able to draw onto the canvas. Select the bigger stroke. and start coloring the gray area that you want to edit. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying the video so far because I really put a lot of work and effort into making them. And if you're new here, a sub to the channel would be amazing. Now back to the video. Now, when you select the prompt, only the colored area will change. Come up with the prompt and write it into the prompt field. I want to start things by adding some tropical forests to the scene. Click generate when your prompt is ready. As you can see, suddenly the gray background is gone. Choose the result you like better or generate a new one and drag it into the box. Now repeat the process for the other gray area. For me, this image looks a little too boring. What about if we added a dinosaur to the scene? And what about a little erupting volcano on the side? If you want to add smaller objects, select Modify Content in the drop-down under Method. Next to it, a field with the name InPaint Additional Prompt will appear. Just ignore that and use the upper prompt box that you're already familiar with.
now we have an extremely cool looking scene that actually makes no sense at all. But who cares? It looks really, really cool. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And also, if you got any questions, write them down below into the comment section. I will try to answer every single one. Well, that's it from me, and I will see you in the near future in the next one.